So thank you so much. This is uh, the most awaited session. It's, it, it is an awaited session for me as well. Um, and we are truly excited that the session is being hosted in advance of the India AI Impact Summit. Um, thank you to the team Carnegie, done a stellar job every year with the Global uh, Technology Summit. Uh, thank you to Mekti, as well as Ministry of External Affairs, but also my panelists who are representing their own ministries, but also co-chair of uh, the working groups. Um, so my first question, I would, I would dive into the panel straight away. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to hearing from them rather than uh, provide a precursor to, to the panel. We already know the context that uh, uh, we are going to be understanding the priorities of uh, two of the working groups that are pretty significant. So maybe I'll start with you, Mr. Garg. Uh, tell us about the working group that you are leading, which is on democratizing AI. What are the priorities? What do you hope uh, and aspire to accomplish? And why is it important for such a working group that India has instituted working with the other partners? Thank you. Uh, first of all, a pleasure to be here. And uh, uh, <clears throat> great to see the two days discussion that uh, have happened. So as possibly all of you are aware, we are having this AI Impact Summit in February, uh, between the 15th and 20th of February. And as a run-up to that summit, uh, seven working groups uh, had been set up, seven chakras and seven themes they cover. Uh, one of them is on democratizing uh, AI resources. And uh, the reason and uh, the mandate of this group is to look at uh, how uh, the AI resources can be available to all. So we are looking at issues of access, of affordability, and as we delved into it, issues of agency also. Uh, we've had, we've started work in September, and uh, this working group is co-chaired by Kenya and uh, Egypt. And we've had uh, a few rounds of meetings uh, within the working group, where we had more than around 35 countries who participated in about uh, 15 uh, international organizations. Apart from that, we've had uh, stakeholder consultations both within the country uh, with those who are interested, and we had also as an international stakeholder cons uh, consultation with people from uh, different countries who are uh, interested in this. So the kind of response that we have received is um, excellent. And uh, <clears throat> we are looking at uh, issues of AI resources, the four resources which uh, are obviously, we're talking of compute, we are talking about uh, uh, data sets, we're talking about models and talent, and obviously over, overarching governance issues uh, across these four uh, AI resources. And uh, the reason I suppose that we are looking at these AI resources is the fact that the benefits of AI would need to flow across uh, to all uh, people so that uh, no one is left behind. Uh, at present, uh, obviously, there is uh, some amount of uh, skewness in these resources. So we're looking at how to ensure that uh, um, the AI resources would be uh, available, both in terms of access and affordability. So I'll stop here, and I'm happy to get into details, but maybe I'll stop here for the present. No, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Garg. Uh, maybe Dave Jani. And I should have actually pulled back a little bit in terms of the context of AI as well in Global South. And maybe that's where you start uh, before speaking about the priorities of the working group that you are leading. Um, uh, a little bit in terms of, you know, this is the one, the first one that India is hosting. It's the first uh, impact summit that's coming from Global South. How is India seeing it? And then perhaps dive into uh, the working group priorities. Thanks, thanks, Arjuna. So, um, you know, we've, there, there's been around four global AI summits, right? And the first one happened in UK, and that was focused on safety. Um, and out of that came the concept of safety institutes, which a lot of countries have now picked up. Then you had Korea, then um, Paris last year hosted the third AI summit. Um, and they called it the AI Action Summit, right? And the focus was 
on action and the focus was also I think a large part of the takeaway from Paris was about uh, the concept of control of AI came out pretty strongly. What India is doing, this is the first ever AI impact summit and I want to make that very clear, right? We have very consciously decided that we are going to shift the narrative to impact, impact creation. And I think that's a shift that is needed globally in the AI narrative. We've been talking for so long about the promise of AI, the potential of AI. I think there's a strong need for a shift towards actual impact creation, ROI from AI. And I think India is sending out a very strong signal uh, by calling this the Impact AI Summit and focusing it on impact. And uh, I, I think it's, it's it's right that the country like India and especially representing the Global South is talking about impact because that is so important for us with the kind, you know, with our population, with the urgency. We have to ensure that uh, we see the results in terms of both economic development as well as social development. So I think that's, uh, that's it's the right focus. I completely agree with it. And uh, actually, that's the focus of the working group that I have the privilege of co-chairing, which is about economic development and uh, social development. And uh, I, you know, my co-chairs, uh, really thrilled to have uh, co-chairs from Netherlands and Indonesia. So as you can see, we, it's, it's a very 360 representation of what impact means across mature countries and developed countries and developing countries. And we have nearly around 40 countries participating, a number of international institutes. And it's fascinating to see that despite the diversity of participation, the common thread that runs across our dialogues, our debates, our discussions is that this, the time has come for us to really focus on impact. It is going to be challenging, and this is where collective action is an absolute must. So collaboration, cooperation, collective action is a must. So what our group working committee is looking at is how do we unlock the pathways to accelerate the journey towards impact creation across countries, wherever they lie on the spectrum of development, right? So how do we, how do we uh, unlock very inclusive pathways for accelerating the development journey? And I'll talk more about it later, but that's the focus. Yeah, thank you so much, Dev Jani. And maybe coming to you, Marissa, from your perspective, you're, you're a co-chair to the empowerment as well as the, so, uh, the social, the, the working group that focuses on social good. How are you seeing the, the priorities and, uh, you know, more from uh, maybe a global north to global south, but it, it, it is, AI is going to impact the entire world. Um, so it'll be good to get your perspective. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me for this panel, but also to co-chair this very important uh, working group. Let me start by saying that I think it's wonderful that India is organizing the next summit and that the word impact is absolutely vital and crucial and I think that's what we need. And I think also India has proven uh, that they can use technology actually to, um, to have social advancement, to actually use it to the, ben to the benefit of all. Um, and also I think India has shown that they can organize very complex, very big uh, summits like they did for the G20. So I think we're all very happy that it's their turn now. You've shown leadership. You've sh shown leadership also how AI can be used to transform, I think, and also how uh, the Global South can leapfrog. And I think therefore we are, um, yeah, we are Looking forward to the leadership of, uh, of India. I think our working group is making good progress. I think we're looking for very practical ways of, on AI comments, on how we can have best practice exchange, how we can use an award uh, to incentivize, to actually uh, encourage uh, new and innovative ways. So I think I'm looking forward to the outcome. We have an ambassador at large 
who is actually taking the lead from our side as a co-chair. He will be visiting in the beginning of January. So I think these coming six uh, weeks, or maybe eight weeks it is, I think, until we will have our AI summit, are going to be exciting. Um, our Prime Minister will come, he will be here, he will bring a few uh, CEOs. Because what I think is also very important, and India is taking the lead, is not only government to government, but also make sure that you have industry on board, that the CEOs are taking part in this, uh, in this uh, endeavor, but also, of course, always research and the knowledge institutes. That's what we need, I think. And so uh, we will be there with a good delegation. Thank you. Thank you. So exciting.